all the heaven and the earth came to existence. What was I before the heaven and the earth came to existence? What was I before the heaven and the earth came to existence? What was I? Then my friends in the practice that practice meditation <coughs> emphasize practicing relief self attachment and yes strong belief in the own mind. or <clears throat> discriminates qualification any position any one who participation just to leave the attachment even the old one the young one the experienced one uh, the new <clears throat> practitioner male, female, high, very high position in society, or in low, lower position in society, can practice meditation. All of the position that's the attachment, to leave attachment, you go back to the nature, Buddha nature, you build freedom from samsara, <clears throat> so the project, no discriminate perfect qualification, no require, prequisite, prequisite qualification. The project, and the project very simple, ask question, write down, <clears throat> and continue to ask question, automatically maintain down. Add a question, write it down, maintain down, down will lead the practitioner to <coughs> the before talk. The theory is easy to understand, but the practice is always still in the the mad habit of attachment. We attach all the things, all the name, the frame <clears throat> in our life. Now we get suffer from that. We get anxiety from that. We don't want to attach on that. Now we have practice method. The attachment still attach on the question. So we cannot raise in a doubt. Have to uh, get time to to familiar with the practice to get belief, strong belief in the own mind. The mean up belief in the mind mean no attachment in the dualism, attachment in the thinking of the system. Believe the talk believe in the attachment. Don't believe in that. Believe, strong believe in don't own my mean no attachment. The Tao will help the practitioner to relieve attachment. So when we add a question, don't attach on a question. The question just like a cane. The question just like uh, the crap help the practice, help the handicapped person, handicapped people to work. That's the help the leg, the broken leg, 
to work. Just like we practice meditation, we ask the question, raising doubt, doubts that necessary, doubts that the the private doubt mean belief attachment. So add question and raise and down. And we don't attach on down to some some time. We're just thinking about question. We're thinking about the down. We're thinking of everything because that the the bad app is because that's the attachment of the system. Illusion. Same attachment. We have to practice and practice never give up the practice. Practice and sharing the practice with the experienced one, sharing the practice with the Dhamma, with the practitioner, the friend practicing the Dhamma friend who oh, practice meditation, we can share it. We can <clears throat> later, we can <clears throat> Uh, get experience in practicing. So practice no qualification, uh, no discriminate qualification of all person, all people. And we have to um, always follow the, the instruction of the requirement. Practice methods. Just have to question, maintain doubt. In the week, I wish you go. Dear monks, nuns, and all Zen practitioners, when we are talking about learning uh, how to practice water, uh, or uh, uh, to share the teaching of the Huato to the beginners. Uh, any, anyone can practice uh, Huato meditation. Uh, old age, uh, younger, uh, female, male, um, smart or not smart. Uh, doesn't matter who you are, you're able to practice this meditation, auto meditation. And anyone can practice this uh, method, um, doesn't matter who you are, and also. Um, as long as we able to able to release our own uh, self attachment uh, and swipe out of the self attachment. So it doesn't matter who, uh, who you are, um, whether you're smart or not, or how stubborn you are, um, or how, how much hate or love you are, um, you're able to do this practice, ask the question, and the doubt is going to sweep all the uh, relative um, attachment. And our attachment, it is very uh, from superficial level to uh, to the subtle level. And doesn't matter how you want to think of how to uh, destruct the, the attachment. 
or the the, the self center or ego we need to um, ask the question so when you say that you know you practice the method it's already self attachment and when we in practice we if we don't uh, carefully observe this um, you see that uh, the, the, the cell attachment in it within it even though you do in this practice so um, the technique here is that we not trying to uh, emphasize the ego of uh, letting go but you have to naturally uh, let the process work itself to let go the self-center uh, self-attachment um, actually this method is uh, very simple and basic but because we don't really trust in the the mind or the process because the buddha when he uh, found the enlightenment under the bodhi tree he said he said that all sentient beings have the same uh, characteristic of the Buddha nature as he, he was. But we willing to become uh, a backers uh, and not um, try to um, return to our cell uh, Buddha nature. So therefore, we need to re rely on the three tools, outside tools and the uh, three uh, tools within ourselves. And therefore, we need to uh, practice and uh, join the Sangha, uh, the group like this. So. Um, from there, you're able to share or your um, speak out about your practice and able to let go of the uh, self attachment. And because of the uh, wise teachers, uh, they gonna remind us and how to let go of our self attachment. And when practitioners uh, rely too much on on the um, the fame, the the, the form uh, attachment to to those two, uh, maybe. Uh, it's going to be become a very big obstacle for that practitioners and that practitioner not able to face the reality and not able to let go of the cell attachment so in um, this practice um, you eventually uh, naturally let go of the uh, attachment and um, the desire to uh, love and hate. So when we take the vow that all sentient beings that we want to uh, help, uh, but in reality, we only help the one we love but not the one that we uh, dislike um, and we ignore them so uh, in this practice we we need to practice the uh, the equality uh, to all sentient beings like uh, the mother's love all her children uh, the same so um, 
As a mother loved, uh, she wouldn't discriminate any um, children, even one of them maybe have a, uh, a difficult uh, personality or whatnot. Um, but the mother's role is not uh, discriminated to any of her children. So uh, the practice here is um, we not discriminate anyone, you know, who are different. So um, doesn't matter we discriminate our own practice, whether we sit in or more or we like to walk more. Um, so so as long as you're able to uh, practice thoroughly, ask the question and maintain the doubts. So the practice is uh, focus, uh, always consider practice because the practice is gonna generate the doubt. So it's just like the mothers always have the, the mind for the, her children. So when she away from them, her mind is always uh, on them, uh, always uh, think of them. So um, our practice is not just about, you know, whether we sit or we walk. Uh, during the meditation. So we just need to just maintain asking the question and raise the doubt uh, all the time. So that's what I want to share with everyone this morning. And right now, if you have any question, please raise your hand so um, that I can answer. So thank you. Um, um, please, none uh, hoi that. Go ahead. Namo Sakya Moni Buddha, dear Thai, dear monks, nuns, and all practitioners. Um, I just uh, listened to your explanation about the practice. So, uh, how can I um, practice so that? Um, I let go of the uh, cell attachment. Thank you. Um, so when we're speaking about a cell attachment, our ignorance is already uh, with us uh, many lives, endless life. So the practice here, the Zen a hotel practice here is uh, been transmitted to us by the Buddha and the patriarchs. And and when we practice, um, if we don't carefully observe this, it's also have the cell attachment within it, very subtle. So um, in the sutras, always teach about how to let go our cell attachment. Because of the cell attachment, that's why I create all everything. Uh, from a, every uh, affliction, affliction in our life. So there, therefore, we need to learn how to recognize our own affliction. Because without recognize the affliction, we are not able to the uh, uh, the body mind. Uh, and uh, if we don't recognize our own body mind. We're going to lose our faith in the three truths. And uh, there are many practitioners. Uh, at first, they, they have a strong belief in the uh, three truths, uh, belief in the uh, uh, very faithful, uh, probably very uh, in the superstitious way. And uh, um, the way they start uh, believe in the three truths may be a very coincidence with their wish and somehow uh, it granted uh, their wishes 
through the the three jewels uh, in a very uh, superstition way. So this is uh, how the Buddha say that this is um, we uh, continue to walk into the ignorance uh, cave. Um, so therefore, um, the the right um, the true uh, practitioner of Jew Buddhists uh, need to recognize this and and uh, to the next level um, we we have um, the uh, conventional we have the faith uh, practitioners we have uh, conventional or classical teaching practitioners um, so from small level to advanced level um, and this uh, is also you know where practitioners do uh, attachment uh, get different level of uh, attachment because this based on the uh, the subject of um, wish to become something uh, to gain something and um, the object of practice to gain something so this is uh, the um, the very basic uh, instinct of the uh, the cell attachment uh, be between subject and object uh, and actually uh, in the uh, in the Lamba Sutra is mentioned about this um, the 50 false mind in the practice and um, the, the, the skandhas this basically uh, the 50 uh, false minds or imagining mind come from the uh, the five um, skandhas or aggregations um, it creates all this uh, false manifestations and practitioner attached to this uh, uh, manifest world or imagined world in their in their practice and they uh, accept uh, all this false uh, imagined uh, images uh, as real, as their own. So um, when we, uh, in this part of practice, and we hold on to that thought of uh, become something that we're going to gain, become something that we uh, we seek. But actually, this practice, we uh, usually use the metaphor of uh, the, um, the king. And people, they mistakenly, the king is the, uh, the ultimate. And they choose the king. This is just another analogy. They choose the king in the uh the beautiful as a beautiful king a golden king um and attached to that um uh, very uh luxury king but the king is it's, it's not about you know um the uh, the look of the king but actually the king is going to help us to uh to walk when we uh, cannot walk so the hotel uh, is um, is a king to help us to uh, create doubt so the doubt here eventually is lead us to the original uh, mind or self uh, original uh, nature and the, the, the water eventually is going to disappear uh, and and there's no such uh, important about the hotel and the hotel is only to maintain one 
quarter of question for the rest of our life uh, we would just have to practice with it but we're not gonna choose a uh, different part of question all the time uh, because that's that's not the right method and the hotel is for us to ask to um, raise the doubt and we're not gonna uh recite the part of question nor we are gonna contemplate the the heart so even the patriarch they wouldn't reckon recommend us to uh contemplate um the or recite the the heart of question and this method if we do that even worse than you know people who practice uh in the pure land who recite um the buddha name so so therefore we um need to recognize this um the ask the question to raise the doubt and if we're not able to raise doubts, we continue. We need to continue to ask um, the question uh, continuously until we, we get the, the doubt. But we're not attached to the, the heart. And when we uh, talk about doubt and we should not attach to doubt um, either so we, we sh, uh, because when we say that we should attach to the uh, the doubt then we create another uh, layer of attachment so the doubt here is um, that we turn to the don't know um, so when you ask the hard to question and we reach to the, the great doubt uh, to the the head of the heart then uh, your heart is heart question is disappear it's gone um, so uh, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, heart or question you have. Um, the ultimate goal is to reach to the um, uh, awakening moment. So it doesn't matter what kind of cane you have. Uh, a wooden cane or metal cane or plastic cane. So it doesn't matter. Um, so it's, it's help us to walk, you know, but not um, for the look. So therefore, uh, the heart of question is going to help us to lead us to the doubt the, and eventually the great doubt. Uh, when the question that you're not able to uh, distinguish this and that, um, it create this, uh, the state of mind that we're not able to know. Um, and, and if you already know something about it, that you're going to come to, then that's not doubt anymore. That's not the heart of and people they say that they cannot you're not able to look at the the hotel and if you cannot look at it you don't know about it then then you are right uh, on the path and so this is not just um a philosophy that we um used to discuss but we need to raise the doubt and when you prolong your um your doubt then you're able to uh release all the thoughts all the other thoughts and it's so uh, uh detached um, of the uh, attachment of the self and this is the practice of uh sudden um no skillful means uh involved into the process and it uh, basically sell let go of uh, everything in our mind so the uh cell 
um, the, the, the great Tao is going to lead us to no thoughts. Uh, and then um, there's no distinguished thoughts. Let go of every any of that. And that, that is the the hotel. That is the that's the Jew. That's the, the Jew hotel. So that that's is the the nanosecond of uh, uh, really, uh, release the the cell attachment, the ignorance, and that's when a practitioner able to reach to the um, the source of uh, Buddha nature. And and all the um, uh, absolute teaching of uh, the Buddha, the, the sutras, is basically um, confirm confirm this pro, uh, process of uh, practice, uh, and it's a firm a firm with practitioners. So, um, therefore, practitioners need to always remember to uh, have this in their mind. Uh, there's nothing to gain, there's nothing to seek, and there's nothing to um, fear um, and should not attach to the, um, the false mind um, that uh, our mind create all the time. So, um, what I just explained to you, did it make yeah, sense? Yeah, uh, none of like that. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Thank you. Michael Tuệ Pháp. Miss or nun Tuệ Tuệ Pháp. Namo Sakyamuni Buddha, uh, dear Thay monks, nuns, and all practitioners. I have a question about when you have the the mind to become uh, a um, become a, a nun or a mon or monastic uh, to help us to uh, become our our true uh, self. Um, so can you explain more about this vow to become a monastic in this practice? Um, the meaning of uh, us monastic or uh, leaving home uh, to re to return to our self nature uh, or to become our own self uh, control our own mind. So there are three meanings in uh, uh, become a monastic. Uh, first one is uh, leaving. Uh, the uh, house uh, affliction uh, and uh, the uh, uh, and the worldly sufferings and the uh, uh, and the uh, the worldly uh, suffering gonna that's when we want to leave uh, behind. And this practice is uh, we work directly with our own uh, uh, afflictions uh, because of our self attachment. Therefore, we have uh, all the uh, afflictions in our life. And um, because of our self attachment, that's why we have this um, the worldly. Um, uh, the worldly uh, practice, the worldly uh, behave, and and when uh, as a practitioner we um, practices, we need to have a, a trust in our own mind and uh, ask the question and maintain the the doubt. Um, that that is already uh, the practice of uh, living. Leaving the um, the worldly home, uh, oh, and uh, so this is basically help us to leave the worldly home, uh, and uh, and the affliction in the world. So all the these forms, uh, including the the bodhisattva. Um, from the uh, past or during the Buddha time or in the futures, 
And the, the bodhisattvas may be, uh, have different forms. Uh, could be a monastic form or could be a lay uh, person form. So basically how we are able to transmit the teaching um the true teaching to uh, everyone so uh those who uh, um help uh, the people who uh, leave home or not um to able to study the true teaching uh and able to achieve the awakening so uh, as uh uh, practitioners or learners on um, on the path um, people they have uh, they don't have the the monastic form uh, but they uh, they have a lay uh, person form but they have a strong mind uh, for the practice for the path and um, and they uh, have the very good role model um, and uh, their, their mind is actually a monastic, but uh, the body not, but uh, it's, it's, it's much, um, it's still much better uh, compared to the, the, the uh, people who uh, uh, become uh, the monastic, but their mind is not monastic. And that that is... Um, because they accept, you know, all the uh, false uh, view uh, in the in their mind. So therefore, we uh, need to know the uh, uh, the difference here. So and uh, the uh, another practitioner is have a very strong mind for uh, all determination to solving the birth and death and uh, we need to carefully uh, understand this and people have that they have the strong mind they're willing to uh, die for the country uh, for their nation uh, nation to sacrifice their body in the battlefield uh, but this is just the worldly uh, self-attachment uh, because they um, they still in the killing act and or deeply attached to the self. But the, for the monastic, um, they they uh, sacrifice everything in their life um, to have this determination to awaken so that that they can help all sentient beings uh, so this is completely different with the people who have the strong determination to let go of their uh, their life so when um, we're speaking about monasticism and when people they become senior monks or nuns but if they don't really practice they only um, um, basically um, only taking care of the, their rank and that's just not uh, able to let go of the cell attachment so i hope that uh, explained uh, uh, your uh, your question so thank you everyone and uh, you have a good day.